Mo on behalf of the Bird Show here, on behalf of The Sun is Also a Star, I'm with writer Nicola Yoon, as well as the stars, Yara Shahidi and Charles Melton. How you guys doing? Yeah. Nice Shahidi. Nice to meet you. Shahidi, right. Nice to meet y'all. I want to start with you, as all of this has clearly started with you. Uh, congratulations on being the number one New York Times bestseller Thank twice. You. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> That is awesome. Congratulations. How does it feel to see your work really just transform onto a big screen like that? Um, I mean, it's surreal. It feels incredible. Um, I, I've said this before, but it's wonderful for me to have more art in the world about these characters um, portrayed by just thoughtful, brilliant actors. Um, I'm a lucky girl. I'm a lucky writer. I would say so. So your, your, your first book, Everything, Everything, you kind of said that the inspiration was drawn from you being a single parent and you wanted to capture your daughter's life on those pages. Is that correct? Um, so I'm not a single parent. Like if, At the time that you wrote it. Oh, no, no. I was married and still oh, am right. married to that same boy. <laughs> <laughs> um, I wrote it because I was a nervous mom. Um, oh, I, was right. a, I was a panicky <laughs> kind really? of sort. Yeah, so that's what, the inspiration for that. So what drew your inspiration for this one? Um, you know, I really wanted to sort of talk about love and fate. Um, I wanted to talk about my husband and my relationship a little bit. You know, just we are from different backgrounds, but I have more in common with him than I've ever had with anyone in my life, right? And he's Korean American, I'm from Jamaica. Um, people always think we're so different, but we're absolutely not. You know, like he's basically the Korean American boy version of me. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I really sort of wanted to just sort of explore the ways in which we think we're different, but we're all pretty safe. Pretty similar. Okay, so the movie, uh, I thought it was fantastic. Thank you. I really did. And you guys, the chemistry, like it's so apparent on screen. I mean, even in pictures. I've seen photos yeah. where y'all appear to have chemistry in photos, right? I don't even know how that's possible. Was there things you had to do off screen in order to be able to capture that on screen? Yes, uh, you know, there's, there's, there's something about being, bra being brave about your vulnerability. And uh, Daniel really embodies that. He, you know, uh, there, there's, he, uh, it's a vulnerable masculinity that I believe that a lot of men, in a sense, don't try to hide. They try to hide or not communicate or express. And, and I think, you know, when it comes to love and giving love, being a man, and, you know, or if being a man and female, it's, you know, with the men's, from the men's perspective, it's just a matter of, you know, don't guard something you want to give, you know? Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to get hurt. Just put it out there and just love. Now, your character, Charles, it's like, what I love about it is I feel like it's the reverse of what you typically see from a male. It feels like, you know, you see a guy who's like, listen, I love love. Uh, judge me for it, it's fine. Yeah. But I read that it's more than a character for you. Like, these things actually apply to your personal life. Is that accurate? I think just to be open. And, yeah. you know, we did go through the rehearsal process of, of going through the script and figuring out what our character story arcs were and how we related to each other. But I think it was just a matter of spending time together and being so committed to wanting to do right by the, the book and the movie. And it was pretty innate and organic when we first met. And, you know, yeah, just everything Yara said as far as like our preparation went. We, there was a lot of, it was very a liberating process of freedom that Rai Russo Young, our director, gave us throughout this mm -hmm. whole process. And it just, Something didn't feel right, we cut it, you know. If this felt better, if this, you know, we, it just really set the tone. I'm, I'm curious, between the three of you, um, do you actually believe in, in fate and in love at first sight? Is that something that was actually a part of your life before you came into this role? Yes, uh, you know, there's, there's, there's something about being, bra being brave about your vulnerability. And uh, Daniel really embodies that. The, you know, uh, there, there's, he, uh, it's a vulnerable masculinity that I believe that a lot of men, in a sense, don't try to hide. They try to hide or not communicate or express. And you know, I think, you know, when it comes to love and giving love, being a man, and, you know, or if being a man and female, it's, you know, with the men's, from the men's perspective, it's just a matter of, you know, don't guard something you want to give, you know? Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to get hurt. Just put it out there and just love. Yeah? Do you have experiences with feeling that way? Um, well, I have just familial experiences of, you know, I come from a family of manifestors, a family of just feeling like the intentions you set out in the universe is what you receive and what you get back. Um, and there's so many moments in my life, even the fact that I'm, 
I'm sitting here right now that is uh, a combination of, of things conspiring in my favor and the favor of my family, especially as somebody that got into this, you know, acting was such a lovely, happy accident that I'm really grateful for, but having the privilege of being on certain shows that inspired me and gave me the platform to be vocal, to, to talk about what I care about, which is ultimately why I even gravitated so strongly towards this project, because it talks about things that I care about so deeply, of cultural heritage and of love and of what it means to, to care for one another. Um, Nicholas, same for you. Was it fate that really got you in this position as a writer? Is, did your life kind of pan out that way as well? Like, did you see this happening for you? Well, I never believed it would happen. I'm sorry. Um, but I'm intensely grateful that it has. But I never, I never thought I could make it as a writer. Yara, something I've always wanted to ask you. Oh, on your Instagram, you're always dancing, right? Always. <laughs> always dancing. I love that about you. Like, and I know it was one you were dancing in like a Target. What's like the most, <laughs> what's the most random place you've ever just said about to happen right now? I literally don't stop dancing. This all the time? All the time. It's also a very convenient way to move through spaces. Like people will move out of your way if you're dancing somewhere, especially if you're dancing somewhere that you're not supposed to be. <laughs> They're like, okay, she's on the move. Um, but I'm always listening to music, always dancing. I think the Target video is just literally like a 10th of my life. Right. <laughs> yeah. And my last question is, um, when you think of just opening your heart to fate, because that was the biggest message that really stuck out to me, is that the message that you guys want people to take away from really seeing this film and, in, and engaging in it, or is it deeper than that? Well, that's the immigration issue as well, yeah. right? I just want people to know that people who come to America, people who are immigrants and who flee something to come to America for a big dream are just as American as people who are born here. Mm. Um, they have the same hopes, they have the same dreams, they have the same sort of vulnerabilities, and you know, it's not just politics, it's personal. Yeah. So. And I just want to close in saying, I know you spent some time in Brooklyn in your youth. I'm from Brooklyn, and every time I've missed a train, I've been extremely upset about it, but I will no longer feel that way. No, nope. <laughs> you can meet someone. You can meet someone. <laughs> I got that message loud and clear. It, it, it was awesome. I really enjoyed the movie. Thank I love what you guys captured on screen. It was phenomenal, and it was a pleasure to meet you guys. Thank Thanks, you. So man. nice to meet you. Absolutely. Thank you. The Bird Show.